What's going on guys? It's uh, February 3rd, 2015. Clocking in at 218 pounds on uh, 99kg. Uh, the goal is to get down to 93 for the other uh, meet, April 11th. Uh, today we have uh, low bar squats. Um, 5x2, this is 350 pounds. Uh, the stance that I have in this particular set is similar to what I would squat high bar with, but because my torso is a little bit more forward, uh, squatting low bar, uh, you'll notice that I don't hit depth on either uh, of the reps. So what am I doing to fix this? Um, I've tried uh, moving my, my feet out instead of being under my shoulders, just uh, about a foot out um, in total outside of my actual shoulders. Um, just enough to where um, at the bottom of the squat I'm, I feel that I'm not really trying to reach for depth that I'm just naturally hitting the uh, the bottom of my leverages and also avoiding uh, my knees caving in uh, basically to uh, to get me back up so as long as I'm able to maintain my knees out without any kind of irregular uh, movement of them coming back in um, as displayed uh, I think uh, this would be the most beneficial position for me now I did uh, purchase some uh, Adidas Drake craft shoes uh, thinking that they were a newer version of the ones I'm wearing in this video, which are just $90 Addy trainers. Um, and Gloria across from me is actually wearing the same shoes. Um, they're a different version of uh, my Addy Powers, which I actually am not squatting in because the heel is too high. It's about uh, it's a 3 fourth of an inch or uh, 0.75 um, in height or whatever, as opposed to 0 0.60. 60. Um, that these are. Uh, as you can see, I don't have to do anything exaggerated to get my body in the uh, the hole. And uh, you may notice that I'm wearing my belt backwards. Uh, so I've been playing with a lot of things. Uh, you may also have noticed on that uh, that previous previous one um, that I uh, forgot to mention that I have the uh, the belt in the middle of my back, and I have it tilted um, to the bottom of my stomach. Uh, so it looks like I have like really bad uh, pelvic tilt, but uh, I'm actually just standing up very straight. The belt's just in a weird position. This allows me to get to the bottom um, while bracing against the belt and uh, not having it cause any huge discomfort for me. So um, as long as I can get rid of that and uh, I feel that I can consistently squat the best way that I can possible with the belt, and uh and stay you know consistent with it i think uh you know low bar is uh, going to look a little bit uh better for me i've noticed also with the heavier weight although my reps are slow as shit right now and that's just me figuring out my mechanics they are a lot smoother there's not a lot of uh, upper body caving uh, when i come out of the hole which i normally do uh, when i'm high barring and the deadlifts here um this is uh, my Ohio Power Bar. Uh, I thought this was a, a cool shot to get. But uh, the, the Ohio Bar, um, it's a cheese grater, man. It, uh, my shoulders uh, pretty much have some decent scarring in them um, from the bar. I don't really feel the, uh, the center neural um, on my back as much as uh, you know I, I think I would or should feel it the way this, uh, the neural on this bar is designed. But I sure as shit feel it uh, when deadlifting with it. But that's that's great. It makes for uh, less chalk required to uh, to get through things, and uh, you know I can just uh, focus on bending down, putting my hands on it, and once I close my hands, I know that they're locked on this thing and it's not going anywhere. So uh, really, only focus is uh, is to drive with my legs like I normally do, and I didn't change my shoes for those either. I felt it wasn't necessary. Uh, and then uh, moving along, the uh, the last movement of the day is the Spoto Press. Uh, I originally um, did like 180 or 185 last week, and I just wanted to move up 5 pounds uh, progressively. I didn't realize that I was doing 195 here. It uh, felt fairly easy. It wasn't really difficult for me whatsoever. Uh, the second set, however, because I was working in with someone else, I kind of rushed it um, and didn't get enough rest. So I only managed 6 reps on that set. This is the, uh, the third and final set, and uh, what I'm focusing on doing, since I can't move my head off of the bench, is uh, really letting my body kind of sync with the weight, so that way when I uh, 
I can contract, uh, I don't know, my shoulders or whatever it is that I'm contracting in this damn video, um, it gives me like a little boost um, out of my sticking point while, um, you know, maintaining uh, regulatory positions on the, uh, on the bench or regulatory since I didn't, uh, I said that really fast. Anyways, that really wraps it up for this session. Uh, this is just something I wanted to film really quick uh, to let my coach see uh, how I'm coming along. Thank you very much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.